initials OB on a cigarette case. A car with Vermont plates. One, it has Vermont plates. Two, it's too luxurious for a criminal of his standing. Three, the initials on the cigarette case don't match his name. The next possibility that needs to be ruled out is that the car was stolen. There should be evidence that there was someone else in the house. Dirty plates, glasses, and silverware from a dinner for two. The dirty dishes and glasses prove that Baccarini ate lasagna with one other person. Was Baccarini's guest still in the house when the murderer showed up? Was Baccarini's guest still in the house when the murderer showed up? parts can shed some light on the motive. What looks like the bottom of a broken glass buried in Baccarini's back. The murderer tore Baccarini's hands off. Baccarini's teeth were all pulled out. Hands ripped off, teeth torn out. I guess I'll have to rule out criminal intent or a personal angle. Baccarini's eyes still haven't shown up. What if I look for whatever was used to remove them? A teaspoon stained with blood and some kind of sticky liquid. The mixture of sticky liquid and blood can only mean one thing. The spoon was used to remove Baccarini's eyes. The mutilations and the disappearance of his eyes suggest two possible motives. Psychopathy or cultist fanaticism? Which is it? A sick altar of human flesh. Some kind of symbol drawn in blood. Although I don't know the origin of the symbol in the bathroom and the altar of flesh and teeth, I'd say the motive was some kind of occult religion. The big question is... Who did it? Pieces of glass from the window in the hall found inside the house. Whiskey glass found in the dining room. A pistol fully loaded. The lamp torn off its brackets and blocking the stairs. An open bottle of whiskey. I'd say Baccarini was drinking in the dining room when his assailant burst in through the window. Baccarini pulled his gun, but the murderer disarmed him before he could shoot. Where did the torture begin? A broken table, scratched and covered in blood. A blood-stained wristwatch with a glass broken and a strap fastened. Two pools of blood, one on either side of the dining room table. The blood stains show that the murderer began to torture Baccarini on the dining table itself. That was where his hands were torn off. As a result, his wristwatch fell to the ground. How did the body reach its current position? The trail of blood from the dining room to the hall. What looks like the bottom of a broken glass buried in Baccarini's back.
the lamp, torn off its brackets and blocking the stairs. Baccarini, already minus hands, was dragged into the hall, where the murderer used the brackets of the lamp to complete his macabre diorama. Was Baccarini's guest still in the house when the murderer showed up? A broken whiskey glass found in the dining room. A door in the kitchen, locked from the inside. It opens onto the same room as the jam door. A door in the corridor. What looks like the bottom of a broken glass buried in Baccarini's back. It seems clear that Baccarini and his guest were drinking when the murderer took them by surprise. The real question is, what happened to the witness? Did they escape? Did the murderer take them? Or are they still in the house? The door in the kitchen, locked from the inside. It opens onto the same room as the jammed door in the corridor. A door in the corridor jammed shut. It opens onto the same room as the locked door in the kitchen. One locked door could be a coincidence, but two locked doors which open onto the same room can't be. Either I'm completely wrong, or the witness is in that room. But I need Milton to open one of those doors. Mr. Ness, can you open the door for me?